Ely first demonstrated his rubber mower blade for us last February, sticking a tennis shoe up under the housing. No cut marks, just some scuffs. But tests like this have not satisfied the Consumer Product Safety Commission. In a recent letter to Ely, the commission's medical director concluded that injuries resulting from accidents with the rubber blade could result in severe trauma and that the blade is within the hazardous range that poses an unacceptable risk of blade contact injuries. These findings were based on government tests of Ely's blade after it struck a copper pipe and bent it. The rejection of his petition and the government's conclusion that his blade is no safer than a steel one incensed Ely. What does that do to you? You're trying to market this again. <laughs> that's, uh, <clears throat> that's adversely affecting me. <laughs> Let's put it that way. To prove that his blade is safe, he set up another demonstration, this time with a medical doctor, Larry Ball of Decatur, as a witness. Using shoes and a glove filled with wooden sticks, Ely and a helper let the rubber blade do its worst. Where is it? Right here. <laughs> it's not, it's just brushed. No cuts or broken material, and Dr. Ball was impressed. The question would be, of course, this was demonstration of inanimate objects, a couple of shoes and some sticks and a glove. Uh, they didn't break. Uh, they were sort of scuffed up. But the uh, question would be how much pain you would inflict on a human being that would respond to pain. I would, I would say, though, uh, it's a great improvement as far as the traditional standard steel lawnmower and uh, would be a, a whole lot safer.